What are your thoughts on what they're doing in Miami? Uh, it's unethical and morally reprehensible as far as I'm concerned because we understand how dangerous football is as a game. Putting guys out there in this type of danger is a problem, but you can put that aside. I think as an employer, you have an obligation to provide as safe a working environment as you can and also provide the people an opportunity to succeed. These young men have committed their lives to getting to the NFL. And you, the expectation is once you get to the NFL, the team will do the very best that they can do to make sure you succeed. They are not doing this there. And that's not fair because these guys are physically paying the price. These guys are putting bad film on tape because they're not trying to win. And it's going to shorten their careers. And you know who's going to benefit from them? The owner and the general managers and maybe the potential future coach. These guys are going to benefit from them. They're going to be out of the league having their careers ruined by a selfish team like the Dolphins. You know we only got one mission here. Back at the rock. Protect the rock. One better time, dog. Three, three. Good or bad? One better time. Swag on three. Swag on three. One, two, three. Swag. I mean, a legitimate argument could be made that there's some college teams that can beat these dogs. This might be the worst football team in the NFL. I can say. They are atrocious. And it's hard for me to say that because we're the general manager, Brian Flory, the African-American general manager, head coach. You don't see that too often in the National Football League. We recognize that they, they rebuild and we got that because they made some good moves in terms of first-round picks to the wide. But this is one of the most atrocious teams that I've ever seen. Combine that with the fact that half of them look like they don't even want to beat it. That's one thing, you know, they don't want to see. Uh, if I were a Dolphins player, I would demand a trade. Minka Fitzpatrick is reportedly frustrated and has requested a trade. With the 11th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Minka Fitzpatrick, defensive back, Alabama. I think Tankin has no place in the NFL. These players are putting their bodies and their minds on the line for an organization that is actively working against them. Are you of the, the tank for Tua hashtag and all that kind of talk? Ooh, I don't know. I'm not too conscious of it. I mean, you know, I hear it here and there, but I'm tired. Is it flattering at all that, you know, a team, fan base, maybe even the NFL fan base would, would want that? Yeah, I mean, it, it's flattering, but I mean, you know, we, we have a season to worry about now. I mean, if everyone's saying tank for Tua now and then we end up losing you know, the rest of the season, all our games, I mean, <laughs> they won't be there saying it again. So, you know, we, we just got to worry about what's in front of us right now and worry about the games that we have to deal with now. I think we're going to see Tua as long as this game is tight, but I really think Nick Saban wants to bring in Mac Jones if they can get a significant lead. Third down and 10, push back to their own 45. Good protection. And the throw is a beauty of a ball. Jerry Judy. Off the sudden change. Tunga Baloa comes out throwing. And wide open. It's Harris out of the backfield. Touchdown, Alabama. You know, go with whatever. Intelligent, you want. creative. <laughs> Here's the left hander. 
to a Tonga Bailoa. Down the sideline, touchdown. Second down and 10, nine to go in the half. Tonga Bailoa down the sideline, it's Devontae Smith. Third down and eight for Alabama. Tonga Bailoa has all sorts of time to survey the field. Bama's had five possessions, five touchdowns. And looking for more in the final three minutes of this first half. Comes out throwing. On the run. Pressure from behind. And that's what Nick Saban is thinking. Where's Mac Jones? He's down. And two is down. His helmet came off. This is exactly what you did not want to see happen. And sometimes as a coach, you just got to listen to your gut. And I think Nick wanted to take him out. And Tua talked him back into it. And hopefully this isn't serious. Well, he's not Whoa. he's not putting any weight on that right leg no. either. Mom and dad in attendance as they are at all the games. And this is the video that is now being watched coast to coast. And the decision to start him in the game and keep him in the game at 35 seven with some four minutes left in the first half that will be discussed dissected and argued certainly for this coming week and maybe more beyond that. Well, good morning. Uh, thank you all for coming today. Um, I've had a difficult time making this decision about my future. Um, but first and foremost, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for this opportunity uh, to stand before you all with my decision. Um, my love for the University of Alabama, our coaches, our fans, um, and, um, and my teammates has made this especially hard for me. I have had the advice and counsel of my parents, my family, and coaches in going through a, a thorough analysis of the, uh, of the alternatives. And without further ado, uh, with lots of prayers, thoughts, um, and guidance, I have decided that I will be declaring and entering the 2020 NFL Draft. You're the general manager of a team picking at five. Are you comfortable knowing what you know now, trading up to three, as Laura is suggesting, and certainly many others have, to take to a tongue of Iowa? Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. No, I'm not. In this environment, I simply can't do that for an organization because when you look at the type of guaranteed money you have, Kyler Murray had $35 million in fully guaranteed money. Greeny, you just don't know. You want your own doctors, your own trainers, your own strength coaches to work with Tua, see mobility, to see range of motion. And because we're in this very unique environment, <laughs> it would be irresponsible to take him in the top 10 simply because you don't have... I understand what, what Mr. T is saying there, that it's risky to take him, but it's also risky not to take him. If he goes somewhere else and succeeds, you're just as likely to lose your job as a GM as you are as if he comes in as injured because they're going to look at you and you say, we missed this opportunity. And I know Greenberg's tired of hearing it, but everyone keeps bringing up that Dolphin situation when they decided that they wouldn't go with Drew Brees because of injury concerns. And we know Nick Saban went on to become the coach at Alabama after that. So the risk is there. It's one of the reasons why I have no desire to be a GM because you can't predict these type of things. And it's a risky game, a dangerous game. And you have to make these type of risk when you're in the front office, just like you're making risk on the field. So I don't know. I think you, you're you kind of damned if you do or you're damned if you don't. You just, if he, if he falls to you at five and you're the Dolphins, you have to take him and just find out what you have. With the fifth pick. Miami Dolphins select Tua Tungavalawa, quarterback, Alabama. What's up, danger? Hey, didn't know they doubted us. Makes it that more marvelous. Sign them up because I'm in this vibe and I guess anonymous. What's up, danger? Hey, don't be a stranger. Because I like high chances that I might lose. I like it all on the edge just like you. Hey, I like tall buildings so I can leap off of them. I go hard with it no matter how. But on my toes, I could keep the world balanced on my nose. I had a slumber party with all my foes. Now I wear them like a badge on all my clothes. If I'm crazy, I'm on my own. If I'm waiting, it's on my phone. If I sound lazy, just on my tongue. Cause I'm always gonna answer when you call my phone. Like, what's up, danger?
blindfold on Mama always asking where did I go wrong What's up danger? What's up danger? Travel 200 miles, I'm knocking at your door And I don't really care Fruits of that labor, all right. Yeah. The process, the preparation, all that it, it counts, all right. So you get moments like this, yeah. that hard work, all right. There's joy in hard work, and this is it right here. I'm just telling you that right now. Uh, yeah. Joy in hard work. This is it, all right. And this is just the beginning. Trust me on that one, all right. Bring it up. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Yeah.